All right, guys, welcome back again. It's time for yet another unboxing. I just threw my razor again. Here we go. Ugh. All right, so <clears throat> yesterday we opened the uh, drill press, and uh, today we are going to open this bandsaw over here. Sorry, I've got a little, um, what is this, Freeform Air smooth-on product. I've got a little bit on my table here from project I was doing yesterday, which I will show in an upcoming video, uh, actually has to do with making the mannequins, cutting up mannequins anyway. So, let's pick this thing up. Yeah. Alright, so we have a Ryobi 9-inch bandsaw, and uh, the box looks pretty well beat up here, so let's hope everything's alright inside. Uh, the typical cutting of the tape. Ooh. Flaps are open. User manual. We're going to take this out first. The last one, I lost it under some stuff. User manual. Allen wrenches. I'll get my hat on camera. Uh, let's see. Some kind of adjustment knob. Big piece of foam with the base. Giant chunk of foam. Get out of the way. And wow, the whole thing's kind of just laying in here. Let's see if I can pick this up without too much hassle. Oh. There it is. Just like that. Um, a little lighter gauge and foam. Get this out of the way. So, it already has the blade installed. I can see through the plastic here. Alright, plastic is off. So, here it is. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Camera has face recognition and it's capturing my face in that little box, this little square following me around on my monitor. So here's the saw. It's, it's pretty narrow from side to side. I thought I'd used this one before, but actually this is a slightly different model than the one I've used, I think. Uh, the one that I used before I don't think was quite as, as slim from the profile, although I could be wrong. Um, it's got a port back here so you can hook up your vacuum for dust collection which is pretty cool um, there should be a little switch that goes in the on off button here Ooh, that's not a good sign I guess the switch has to be in there let's see so the uh, let's try this yeah remove to lock there we go all right so here's the basic part here is Uh, base plate, uh, adjustment knob, Allen wrenches, pop the instructions open here, we'll take a look. This was a lot faster than the drill press, I think, unless I hit some weird snag. Yeah. And I'm assuming the instructions are going to be in the very back, like they were at the last one, and the notes section as well. Alright, so... Here are the basics. You probably can't see that, but it seems relatively simple. Um, pretty much the same kind of instructions like the drill press had, where there's diagrams, but they don't actually tell you what's happening, and the pictures aren't like Lego instructions where they show you where everything goes. It's just as kind of a picture of it already done, and then that's it. So, you know, good luck. I've used drill press before, so I think probably be able to do this. Pull out this guide here, which it doesn't say to do, but I know that's going to have to come out in order to get through this thing. So, this probably goes on this way, I would imagine. Try 
try not to goof up the blade before I even get it started. Ring in here. I'm assuming this goes on the back, and I'm assuming, hopefully, right. Looks like it's it. There's a little gauge in the back here, a little red marker that probably has to turn and point at the, um, the angle here. So we do miter cuts. Let's see. Miter guide. Did it even fit on here? Probably somewhere out right here. So we do angled cuts, nice and smooth. And that's pretty much it. I'm sure I have to adjust the blade. I'm going to read the instructions here and get this thing all set up. And um, probably start using it tonight because i got a lot of stands to make for some replicas. Not replicas. Actual, I'm making these stands for actual movie props. Um, and if you're going to San Diego Comic-Con, uh, you'll probably get to see them if you look around. And once they're posted, I'll tell you what there are, what there are, what they are. What I've been working on for the last week with Prop Store and Tom Spina Designs. It's been really fun. Anyway, short video, probably super lame. But here's the saw. Here's what it looks like right out of the box. One last turn. Nice and slim profile. There's the back. And uh, I'm ready to go start this thing up. See you guys in a bit. And around the table to stop the camera. So, I should have shown you this before while I had the camera on, but um, I didn't take a look on the inside while we looked at this the, the first time. So, let me tilt this up just a tiny bit, if I can. Ugh, there we go. All right, so inside we've got our standard pulleys, like um, bandsaws typically have. You see the motor has a little belt drive. It's got an adjustment spring for the tension, um, adjusters here, the guides, etc., etc. Very easy to access. All of the blades, belts, parts inside are uh, very easy to get to. So I think that's going to be handy. Um, and I think that's it for now. I just needed to show that real quick because I didn't take a look previously. So anyway, here we go. See you guys in a bit.